this East Belfast walk will be a challenging climb for many. It begins at the entrance to Craig Glen on the Knockbreeder Dual Carriageway and initially follows the river. There are steps and a gravel path up the glen and then the walk continues up to Lisnabrini Rath. The views from there over Belfast are fantastic and we learn about the remarkable Nesca Robb and her Ulster Scots writing along the way. It's an out and back route, about three miles in total. The walk starts at the entrance to Craigie Glen, off the Knockbreeder Dual Carriageway, just opposite the junction with the Craigie Road. Well, we always talk about hidden gems, and this is an absolute classic of that genre. It's truly amazing that with just a few steps, you can leave the noise and bustle of one of the busiest roads in the city behind you and be walking in the serenity of a woodland glen. Leave the city behind as you climb into the hills along the side of the river. Although Ulster Scots heartlands are more usually identified as areas like the Ards Peninsula and Mid and North Antrim, this area of Belfast is rich in the culture and connections too. Belfast to me is it's nearly uncomfortable because it's so alien to what I'm used to. And you get a minute and you look around you and you see names and bits of names and strands and nose and sandy nose. Now there's the thing that gets to me, everybody says sandy nose. I didn't care what Alexander knows, it's sandy nose. Continue the climb to the top of the glen and use the tunnel to avoid the manse road. You'll emerge in the former grounds of Lisnabrini House, donated to the National Trust in 1937 by the remarkable Nesca Rob. Rob was born in 1905 and became a writer, a poet, an historian, a conservationist, a teacher. She just excelled in so many different roles. She wrote an extensive two-volume history of William of Orange and was an associate contemporary of both John Hewitt and Sam Hannah Bell. She wrote in both English and Ulster Scots and was passionate about the protection and promotion of the literary and cultural heritage of the Ulster that she loved. The walk continues out of the woodlands and onto a farm lane between hedges and up into the hills. Go through the gate and up. What a view from up here, the whole of the city below us and so many of the great landmarks of the east in particular are visible. There's the shipyards, the whole of Castle Ray below us, Stormont is over there. And yet, despite all of the man-made monuments, it's the natural features that most tug on the heartstrings of our writers. Ah, oh, while my heart's broken with wishing that I was home. They tell you it's great the things you learn when you wander in Rome. But all that's worth learning I got that a lump of wain on the lonings and buglands and fields. Finish the hill climb by following the trail on up to Lisnabrini Rath. This ring fort is believed to be at least 1,000 years old and would have housed and protected both people and livestock. It's a lovely place for a rest and some contemplation before you retrace your steps back down the hill and through the glen to the start point. Well, apart from my return journey back down the hill, that's about it for this walk. And this is just a lovely space to be in, somewhere where, as Nesca Rob put it, the bracken rusts along the hill against the evening's baleful gleam. You can hear more of her work from the additional video content that we produced to accompany this one. It's designed to be played on smartphone or tablet so you can listen while you walk. Enjoy. Bye for now.